hello everybody and welcome back to my channel so today if you can't tell from this look we are going to be reviewing a collection we're going to be reviewing this wet and wild the little twin stars collection Aww. this collection is so beautiful honestly this is like the prettiest collection i've probably ever owned um, this is taking me back to the early 2000s when I was little, so um, I'm going to talk a little bit about some of the things I didn't talk about while I was filming. Um, so just a couple of things here. So it did come with this like brush holder um, that's in here. I didn't use one of the brushes because I forgot to, but this is like a brush holder that it comes with, which I think is super cute. Um, you just put your brushes in there Absolutely adorable. I freaking love it. So that's Like a brush holder that it came with um, These are the brushes that came with them. Like I said, I didn't get to use this one because I totally forgot about it, but um, they Have like Water in the brush handles and like stars in there. So I think that that's super cute. And then something else that's pretty interesting is there's this like makeup sponge case which I was a little confused about but it said ever wanted to touch a cloud take one with you with this dual sponge case inspired by Kiki and Lala's home in in the yum in the yum star cloud uh, spacious enough to allow sponges to travel and dry properly so it is this cloud and you just pull the top off and you put the sponges in there and it's silicone so it's really cute lightweight it has engraving on it it says wet and wild here on the back um, the one thing I will say about this collection is everything is super detailed like they 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 went so detailed You'll see like what I'm talking about though. Like they even went as far as to just like putting detail in the br in the makeup sponge. So when I was online looking at this and I was, uh, you know, debating on whether or not I wanted to buy this collection, I looked in it. I didn't see that there was the bag inside of it. Um, I looked at the, you know, the pictures and everything, but I didn't see the bag in the collection. So I bought the bag separately. And then when the collection came, of course now i have two bags so just know if you do decide to buy the collection the bag will come with it you don't have to buy the bag yeah, i mean i don't really have much else to say um i i really like like this collection and i like the way that my look came out so if you want to see how i got this and you want to see and hear my thoughts on this collection then please keep watching <laughs> so we're just gonna jump in to this collection and just start to get ready so again this is what it looks like back is everything so this is it that's the top it's super cute friends are like stars you can't see them but you know they're always there for you that's super cute so I already this is my mirror that I have here. I got like a lower mirror, so if you see it pop up in the screen, that's what that is. But I already put on uh, my face primer. Um, so I'm gonna put on my foundation and I'm gonna use the Star Team Makeup Sponge Set. This is what it looks like. It is really adorable. It comes with two sponges, a blue one and a pink one. So they're pretty much exactly the same. They both have like a, let me open it and show you guys. And I dropped one. So I'll use the pink one first since it fell. So this is the details on the two sponges. One has the outline of the boy in it. One has the outline of the girl. Um, on the back there's, uh, it says little twin stars, super cute. Um, these are really adorable like they could have just put like any old sponge in here but they like 
they actually like put time and effort into putting a design on a on a beauty sponge so I mean that means that a lot of effort went into this collection if they had you know the consideration to even put like a design on the sponge <sighs> it fell on my carpet so I'm actually gonna go wet this um, so that way I can see like how it does well with absorbing water um, so I'm gonna go wet this and then I'll be back to put my foundation on so this is huge it grew to like two times its size so it definitely absorbed a lot of water I mean it grew two times its size like look at that how it just grew like humongous so um, let me put my hair back so that way we can put some foundation on I had like a little bowl that I would put or not a bowl but like a tray that I would put like all of my items in that I was using and I cannot find it anywhere so I just have like everything falling off of my table so um, I'm just gonna put my foundation on the sponge and I guess just go in it's still kind of like wet though like when I squeeze it water hand is clearly wet so um, I hope that doesn't affect anything uh, we'll see so I'm gonna just put some foundation on I usually start off with two pumps for my lower part of my face and I just go in I feel like that may have soaked up a lot of product um, this is what the sponge looks like after using it. My foundation isn't moving around as much as I'd like it to um, versus when I use like my beauty blender. So I'll just add a little bit more. One more pump. It absorbed a lot of my makeup so I actually have to go in with a fourth pump fourth pump is like kind of pushing it so um, that's like the last of the last that I'll do I kind of feel like it soaked up a lot of my foundation so I'm not too sure about the sponge I'm actually having to go in with pump number five and a half um, just to get a little bit more coverage because I didn't get a lot of coverage that I wanted. This is, I think, as full coverage as it gets. So, that is for the sponge. Oh, you guys, look at what I found. So, it looks like this is a makeup sponge case. That is so cute. It's a cloud. I wonder how... Like how? This is so cute. So it's a cloud and it has like engraving on it. It's like um silicone. Oh, like silicone y and just put your sponge in there and close it. And it holds your makeup sponge. This is so freaking adorable. This collection is so cute. All right, I'm gonna do my brows um, off camera and then I'll be back. Okay, so now that I have my brows on, um, I am going to prime my eyes really <laughs> I'm gonna prime my eyes really quick. I'm not going to use anything special, I'm just gonna use my Tarte concealer and just I do a dot and I go in with this Real Techniques super old like dome mini brush and just I pat 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 lightly gently and then swipe same to the other eye I just dot pat to spread it out And 
and begin to blend. So let's let's go in to these palettes that are in this collection. By the way, if you have nails, good freaking luck getting all of this stuff out of that because oh my god, it is so hard. <laughs> Okay, so this is the palette. Has two blues, has some neutrals, pinks. So this is what she looks like. There is no film, so it came just like that. So um, starting from up here, going this way, we have Twinning, Timid, Sugar High, La La, Double the Fun. Over here we have Sweetest Candy, December 24, Moon Dust, Kiki, Curious. Starting over here we have Thinking Out Loud, Moonbeam, Starfishing, Fluffy Skies, and Dream Galaxy. So these are all of the colors. Just looking to see what we could do. I mean, there's so much we could do. Do I want to do a pink eye? Do I want to do a blue eye? Do I want to do a purple? Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. I'm going to do blue. I'm going to play with these blue colors because why the heck not? So I feel like a lot of people go for the pink, purple, gold. Because I mean, you could do like four different eye colors with this. You could do a gold, you could do a pink. You could do purple and you could do blue. Even like a neutral, just brown. But I think I'm going to go outside the box and I'm going to do blue. So, let's do this. This is the brushes that came in the collection. There's two. So, it just says makeup brush set. Um, back here on the back it says, This pair of powder and eyeshadow brushes belong together like twins on a cloud. The handles contain floating confetti to create a star-studded wonderland as you use these brushes for makeup application. Featuring synthetic and feathery soft fibers, these brushes pick up the perfect amount of product and, and blend beautifully to perfection. So let's pop these out. I mean, there's really only one eyeshadow brush that I can use. so. So this is the brush. It has glitter in it. So you can see the glitter and water. Um, it's just like a fluffy brush, synthetic. So I am going to go back in and just fix any creasing that I have. All right, and let's go in with the blue. And I'm just going to keep that at the outer corner of my eye. That's a lot of pigment. So I feel like I need like a guide though. Okay, so this is the Disney Morphe palette. Um, I'm just gonna go in with Stunning Games right here, which is like a mm, kind of periwinkle kind of color. And I'm just gonna like kind of use that as like a base on the top of my lid, just cause I feel like this will be a hot mess if I don't have something like a transition color, maybe something, I don't know. So I'm gonna just go in with that really quick on my eye. my base foundation lay down now I'll go in with the color this uh, December 24 and just keep that there's a really blue on the outer part of my eye oh this is like a really um, like rich blue let me just take a clean fluffy brush and just blend out the edge 
That is a nice blue. Okay, I'm just gonna go in with that clean fluffy brush and blend out the edges. I have noticed um, when doing my makeup that this eyelid it has a lot less space than this one. This eyelid, this eye, I feel is a lot smaller. Ooh, I feel it's a lot smaller than this one. So I always notice, like when I'm working with this eye, I have to be really careful because I'll go higher with my eyeshadow than I will with this one, and it'll look like this one has more eyeshadow on it. Then, but I mean, it's just hard because this eye is so smaller than this one next i'm going to go in with moonbeam um that is this one right here and i'm just going to keep that on the outer corner of my eye just going to go in with the same brush and see it's a really shimmery color so let's put this on the outer corner so there's not a lot of shimmer popping up I'm going with like a smaller brush and see if that helps. Okay, so it's just meant to go in with like a more detailed brush is all. Then I'm just gonna whoo, blend this out. This is a huge fluffy brush. It's a studio gear brush. I don't even remember where I got this from, honestly, but it's like so fluffy. Um, I got this a long time ago like I was living at my parents house still when I had this brush so this is like a old brush <laughs> I'm noticing that the shimmer isn't really like working well with the brush and I think that's just because it's like more of like a finger kind so okay there we go there she is She's appeared, she's come to the party. She's all for it. I never thought that I would like blue this much, but this blue, like, okay, like I, I'm feeling this blue. And like always, don't worry about this under eye, we're gonna clean that up. This is what I have so far. Like I said, never really was a fan of the blue, but I have to say I'm digging it. So. All right, so, now that I've put um, both blue colors from the palette, I want to go in with a shimmery color. So there is this color, but it, it looks like it's going to be kind of hard to come out, but we'll make it work. So we're going to go in with Starfishing. I'm going to keep that in the center inner corner ish of my eye i'm not even going to like try to do it with the brush i'm just gonna go in with my finger <gasps> whoa wow that's wow Oh my gosh, do you see this? Okay, I don't know if the camera is like picking it up the way that I'm seeing it. I swiped it once and I thought this is going to be really hard to work with. But putting it on my lid like. This is pretty. Okay, let's do the other eye. Oh, just take me now. Oh, wow. This is, oh my gosh. This glitter. I'm so happy I chose this one. I was going to choose the other one, but I'm so happy I went with this one. Star fishing. 
I have this LA Girl um, holographic kind of color. Um, it's Hollow Glam. Um, it's an LA Girl eyeshadow and it is super, super pretty. So I'm just gonna go and use this for like my brow bone. Um, just cause this is like a really, really pretty blue. So I'm just gonna get some on my brush and just go like that. It's even better when you press on it and it just gives like a nice effect. And use my finger to rub it in. Like when you rub it in, it's almost like you, the warmth from your finger melts the eyeshadow and it's just so pretty like when you rub it in so if that makes sense <laughs> I don't know if that makes sense well I don't know about you guys but I'm feeling pretty happy about this eye look um I do need to conceal this under eye really quick because um it looks kind of like a hot mess under here so let me go in here really quickly conceal my under eye then I'll come back and we'll do the blush, the highlighter, and stuff. So, I'll be right back. So, I did my face and my, like, contour. So, now I'm going to go in with the blush. So, I don't know how to pronounce these names. But it just says on the back here, oh, my glowing star. This complexion trio features a silky smooth blush an illuminating highlighter and a self-adhering glitter topper like kiki and lala each shade adds instant glow and is even more powerful together so we're just gonna again if you got the nails like me <clears throat> oh it's so hard to open okay and i just want to say like to the detail that they put on the each like palette like I know there's not a mirror and I know like you know I always say okay I feel like each eyeshadow palette should have a mirror like but I'll give this one an excuse because look at how cute all of the like graphics and details are on this like absolutely adorable so I'll give this one a pass um it's so freaking cute so just go in with the blush okay that's a lot of pigment quite a bit so tap her off and okay all right um next is the highlighter so highlighting brush i'm just gonna spray myself with the urban decay setting spray I'm just going to take like this little fan brush that I have, wipe off my old highlight that's on there, and go in with this highlight. And it is blue. Um, my experience with blue highlights is that it's never popped up on me before, so we shall see how this one goes. The oh my god, cause 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 I just I. Okay, because I've never had a highlighter, like, go on like this for me ever. So, I'm definitely, like, amazed right now. What the... I mean, can we just give it for the highlighter? Just 
Those are good for the highlighter. I'm done. I don't need to do anything else. I'm just... Now let's move on. So I'm not quite sure what to do with this glitter topper. Like, do I just put it on my lid? Like, I'm feeling like this is definitely like a finger kind of thing. I don't know where to go with this. If I put this on my lid, I feel like it's gonna be too heavy. So maybe I should just put it on top of my highlight. It's interesting, for sure. Like, definitely interesting. Oh. So that's how it's supposed to look. Okay. I'm like a mermaid. The glitter topper is a little hard to work with. Um, but I mean, I got it on there. Um... Just like I said, it's a little hard to work with, so I don't know how I feel about the glitter topper, but the blush is very intense. The highlighter is amazing. So far, I love the shadows. So let me just, let me finish this look up. These are the liners that came in the collection. There's four. It says here on the back, uh, be a starry eyed dreamer with this heavenly four piece eyeliner set weightless as a cloud these creamy gel eyeliner pencils deliver long lasting rich pigment in every effortless smooth effortless smooth application featuring the prettiest angelic pastels to create storybook looks so there's pink yellow and white and blue this is what the blue looks like so let me just see how this goes. Not too bad though, but it is like um not transferring well onto my waterline. Really gotta press down. So that is that. Mm, I'm not too much of a fan with the liner. So now I'm just gonna go back in with uh, December 24th and i'm gonna just kind of what is my dog doing if you could see what my dog is doing right now Whoa. i'm just gonna kind of smoke out my bottom lash line to help out with that liner a bit okay there we go i'm just gonna pop some lashes on really quick let me see I think I'm gonna just use these Glamify Me lashes. This is in live in color, and these are what they look like. I'm gonna pop these on really quick, and then I'll be back to finish up the lips. Before I put the lip glosses on that are in the set, um, I am going to show you guys that they have these two lip scrubs. This one's called Sugar Coated, and this one is Candy Kisses, blue and pink. Um, I'm not like sure like what the directions are for this. This is lip scrub, so I'm like thinking like do I need to like get my face wet? Like do I need to do this in the bathroom? What is this? I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do it. I don't know if your girl's gonna be able to handle it. So okay, so it has a twisty up and down. Um I think I just put it on my lip. Okay, it's starting to feel scrubby. Do I just wash it off? Like, I'm confused. I don't know. I don't know like what I'm supposed to do. It says lip scrub. Did it scrub off all the dead skin? Like, is my lips done? I don't get it. All right, next thing on the itinerary is the lip glosses. These are the lip glosses that came in the set. There were four. Tops are stars. Mm. Stars and clouds. 
they're so cute so we got like a dark dark one it's called on candy cloud nine so this is like a really dark one next one we have is lost in a cloud this is more of like a red one the next one is called starstruck And then last one is my lucky star. I think I'm gonna go with this one. So my camera died, I had to reset here. Um, but I'm just gonna line my lips. I'm just gonna use like a brown lip liner from NYX. This is just a natural and just line my lips. I honestly don't know if I was supposed to wash off that blue lip scrub. I feel like there wasn't clear directions on what to do. Hmm. So now I'm going to put this lip gloss on, if I can get this off. It's like already like super dark outside. I started filming like at 2. And I don't feel like I've been filming for that long and the sun is already like going down. It's crazy. It's messing with my light. Okay. But here we go. <gasps> Ooh. I like you. Alright. This is nice. I'm happy I picked this one. I mean, what else goes with the blue eye? Right. Last but not least, we have this setting. Well, it's not even a setting spray. It just says that it's just a glow face mist. This Twinkle Star Glow Face Mist. Twinkie in Starlit Glow. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Okay, Twinkie in Starlit Glow with this. Yeah, it's not Twinkle, it's Twinkie. Maybe it is Twinkle and it's a typo. Okay. Twinkle in Starlit Glow with this face mist, which refreshes skin and embraces makeup with illuminating light reflecting properties. Formulated with a blend of papaya extract, cold pressed coconut water, and dragon fruit extract. Brighten and reduce the appearance of redness. So I shaked it. Didn't say how much to spray. Okay, so maybe go like a little light if you get this just because I sprayed just a bunch and now my face just looks like gold in the mirror which I'm not complaining about but you know if you want to be like more subtle and not be like a disco ball then maybe wouldn't spray so much <laughs> now I look like so gold in my mirror and that is the look you guys that is everything in the collection um what I have to say about this I love the eyeshadow has good pigment good variety you can do quite a few good looks with that eyeshadow palette I liked it quite a bit the shimmers oh I loved them um the highlighter I think was my favorite part I was in awe over how well this highlighter was I wasn't expecting that so the highlighter was you know it for me <laughs> the glitter pressed I forgot what this is called like the pressed glitter I don't know if I'm like a huge fan of it um the gloss is gloss um when you first put it on like you see like kind of like a bit of like a blues in there but it does start to fade a little bit after a while um and then the face mist was that kind of just brought everything together for me so my overall opinions on this collection is it's super cute love the pigment pick it up go get it I like it um, I have never like bought wet and wild before so I'm very happy that my first purchase from wet and wild was this collection and it's so cute I don't want to get rid of the box it looks so beautiful in there 
um yeah that's all i have to say about this collection um thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one bye